I acquisition. I'm not getting in the game, aren't I? <laughs> nope. Yay. Lost because the game's broken. <laughs> you probably have DDoSers on your hands, bruh. Nah, it's just not loading here. You're it's lagging for me. Your voice is lagging! Uh-oh. That's not good. <clears throat> Bye. Bye. <laughs> so there you see our first teammate getting knocked out of the game. And when we go back and look in theater mode, we can see who the perpetrator is. It's the person who's not playing the game, the iPod. It just goes and finds a little dark corner to sit in while he runs his little tools, pulls the IPs out of the lobby, and then starts ddosing, host booting, running his little tools that flood your network with packets and try to knock you offline and he had already pulled a acquisitions ip address in the lobby and knocked him off before we even got into the game and then as the game goes on he's able to knock rambo brando out and then he knocks scuffless out he tried to knock me out but i've got some protection against getting ddosed but it doesn't really help me if the rest of my team gets ddosed anyway so to have total protection you really need to protect your whole team or it's gonna have the same result anyway gonna end up losing the game because someone sucks at the game and they can't win by playing fairly so they have to use their little hacker tools and knock you offline because they suck balls that's pretty much much what sums it up for me so if you are sick of people like the iPod here ruining the game for everyone uh, be sure to send him a message and let let him know what you think of people that host boot DDoS and I'm going to be reporting them to Xbox as well as to Treyarch I reported them in game everyone that it was my game reported them in game and so far, everyone that I've reported has no longer been playing Call of Duty afterwards. So, one person, actually two guys, uh, got banned and reset from Call of Duty. And then the last one, Relaxing Zombie, I'm pretty sure that he got a uh, console banned. He hasn't been on Call of Duty, he didn't get reset, but he hasn't been on the game since like a day or two. I don't know, a few days after I reported him, might have been a week <laughs> but he hasn't been on the game so that is fine with me whatever get him off the game get all of these hackers cheaters off the game it, it, this is one of the main reasons why I'm, I'm just sick of playing Call of Duty or at least Black Ops 2 I look forward to Ghosts and I'm really hoping that it's dedicated servers for all playlists and not just like special playlists with dedicated servers because if you have dedicated servers then they're not going to be able to get your IP address from the, the game there's no peer-to-peer -peer networking when you have dedicated servers so I'm really looking forward to Call of Duty Ghosts for that reason and I'm hoping that it solves a lot of the issues that have really got me fed up with Black Ops 2. So, hope this is enough evidence to get him uh, kicked off the game forever. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you later. Take it easy. Make sure you report him for tampering. Yeah, I already did all that. And he got scared, and then he actually admitted to, uh, getting rid of my account. To what? Didn't admit the DDoSing, but that part kind of says... Says something. <clears throat> but I can tell that he's scared, so... It worked. <laughs> Mission failed. Step up next time. file complaints. And we lose 150, and I lose my will to play this game. <laughs>